Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here and today we're going to be looking at 10 ways to know someone is lying. We can't read minds, so it's hard to know when someone's telling the truth and when they aren't. But there are a few telltale signs that someone is lying. Whether you want to see if your partner is cheating or just to know when people are lying in day-to-day -day situations, this list is sure to help you out. So be sure to like the video and subscribe and comment I subscribed and I'll try to reply. So, coming in at number 10, we have not blinking. While most people assume if someone is lying, they won't be able to maintain eye contact, hence the popular phrase, look into my eyes and tell me the truth. But this was made up by Hollywood, and studies show that when people are lying, they're far less likely to blink, and in fact much more likely to keep eye contact with a blank expression. Liars subconsciously do this to manipulate you because you expect them to look away or blink. Famous con men such as Bernie Madoff, who stole $65 billion from investors, would keep eye contact for longer than usual without blinking when talking to clients he was stealing from. So if you notice someone not blinking and looking at you for longer than usual, then be careful, especially if they're your stockbroker. Next up we have covering their mouth. We cover our mouths when we're shocked or embarrassed. But what a lot of people don't know is that we cover our mouths when we're lying. Mouth covering is actually a very literal piece of body language and it indicates that the person doesn't want to answer a certain question or talk about a certain subject. People also tend to find it hard to speak and move their mouth when they're lying. So subconsciously people cover up their mouth to cover up their awkward mouth movements. So when you see someone covering their mouth when they're talking to you, they're literally closing off communication. And unless they're wiping sauce off their face or something, the chances are they're lying to you. Next up is head position. One very obvious sign that someone is lying is actually one of the least well known. There are in fact three different head positions that mean the person you're talking to is lying. And liars often do all of these at the same time or change between the three. The first is tilting their head to the side which shows their discomfort in the conversation. The second is bowing their head down which is done to cover their neck as subconsciously humans feel vulnerable and exposed when their neck is showing. And lastly is the most obvious one which is having a retracted head. This means they're not engaged in the conversation as they don't want to answer a question or discuss a topic. And this one is super easy to look out for as the head is one of the most prominent body parts. Next up is too much information. While you might think that if someone was lying, they wouldn't be able to go into much detail because, well, the events never actually happened. But much like the blinking one, this is a myth. If someone is telling you a story or answering a question in great detail that you didn't ask for and isn't important, then they're probably lying. The reason liars do this is to make the story sound more vivid and realistic. One key example of this is when stand-up comedians are telling their written stories and they often go into great unnecessary detail to make the story more believable. A lot of people get tricked by this as it's one of the most effective cover-up methods that liars use. So next time somebody's telling you an unbelievable story, make a mental note of how much detail they're going into. Coming up next, we have stillness. We all know that if someone's nervous or uncomfortable, they squirm around and fidget. But this isn't necessarily the same for someone who's lying. In fact, when someone is lying, they're more likely to not be moving at all and be unusually still. This body positioning and lack of movement is part of subconsciously preparing for confrontation, as the liar is worried that their lie may be questioned or uncovered. It's much more natural to move your body when you're talking as it suggests confidence and calmness. However, liars tend to tense up when talking, which often results in a distinct to lack of motion. So if your partner is giving you an explanation of where they were last night but they're not moving at all, then you might want to get the divorce papers ready. Next up we have breathing. Now this sign is slightly harder to spot, but if you do spot it, then it can be a telltale sign that what the person is saying isn't entirely accurate. When someone is lying, they tend to start breathing very heavily. This is a reaction to their heart rate and blood flow changing, which are things that happen in your body when you're nervous or tense, which is how most people feel when they're telling a lie. This is hard to spot, but if the person takes breaks and speaks in a higher pitch, then the chances are they're breathing heavily. Just to be sure not to test this out at the gym, or it might not be very accurate. Next up we have moving feet. While being still is a sign that someone's lying, one moving body part that can enable you to tell if someone's lying is their feet. If someone is shuffling or moving their feet, then this highlights that they're uncomfortable and nervous. It also suggests that they want to walk away from the conversation because they're worried about being caught lying. This may sound kind of literal, but this is, after all, a piece of literal body language. So next time you're talking to someone about a topic that could involve them lying, be sure to check how much their feet are moving, and the chances are if their feet are moving and they're displaying any of the other signs on this list, then they're lying. 
Coming up next is repetition. Coming up next is repetition. Much like when liars include unnecessary detail in lies, liars also use a lot of repetition to convince you that they're telling the truth. People repeat their lies over and over to validate and affirm them not only in your mind, but in theirs. After all, if a liar can make themselves believe their own lie, then it will be much more convincing. Another reason people repeat themselves while lying is to buy time, as simply saying the same thing over and over again gives them a chance to think about what they're going to say next. So if someone keeps saying the same thing over and over again, especially if it's a phrase such as I don't know her, I don't know her, or I didn't do it, I didn't do it, then they most likely do know her and did do it. Next up we have hard to speak. We've already covered the reason people use their hands to cover their mouths when they're lying, which is to cover up their odd mouth movements. This is because when someone's lying, they'll often find it harder to speak than usual. When we're stressed, we have less saliva and this can cause our mouths to become dry. And therefore, we need more time to lubricate our mouths when speaking. And when we're nervous, our mucose membranes can dry out, which can leave a person choked up and at times totally unable to speak. So if you see people stuttering, stammering or slurring their words, the chances are they're telling a lie. And finally, we have covering body parts. The key to confident body language is having an open body with your hands and legs to your sides. So you can probably guess that if someone has very closed off body language, then they're nervous and likely telling a lie. Crossing arms or putting their hands on their hips are big giveaways of this, and people will often cover their most vulnerable body parts, such as their neck, as I touched on earlier. And of course, the classic covering the private parts stance. Investigators of crimes use this technique during interrogation interviews, so if the police can use this to find out a murderer's identity, then I'm sure that you can use it to find out who stole your lunch at work. And that just about wraps up this video. Check out the poll in the top right corner and you guys can vote for the best way to know if someone is lying. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe.